Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel. And in this video, I'm going to provide a tutorial on how to install the new batch file provided by ANEO to update the BIOS to allow for allocating more than six gigabyte of memory on the VRAM allocation. So in this case, what you can do is you can make an adjustment by installing this file. To start off, we first need to go to the ANEO support page, specifically the downloads area for where we are going to find this file. So we're going to go to aneo.com forward slash support forward slash download, and I will provide this URL in the description for your reference. And we are going to specifically look for the appropriate and correct adjust video memory BIOS file. Now, I am working on the ANEO 2S device, so I am going to select the corresponding download link for the ANEO 2S. However, if you are working on a different device than the ANEO 2S, then do take into account you are going to need to select a different link that corresponds to the adjust video memory BIOS file. So in this case, as I mentioned, I'm going to select the ANEO 2S series only and I'm going to download this file. I am going to locate this file in my downloads folder here, and I am going to extract this file because it is compressed. So I'm going to right click and I am going to extract all, and then I'm going to select to show the extracted files when complete from this location. So I am going to do that here, and here is my file. Now, what I am next going to do is open this folder. It is important that you close any background programs that you can. Two specific ones that you will want to close are your instance of ASSpace that is running and any instance of RevaTuner statistics, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that is running. Now I am using a screen recorder, so I am going to close that out and switch perspectives so that you can see the install. I'm also running this FX sound for my sound profile and I'm going to close that out as well. Okay, so I have switched perspectives to allow you to see the installation. Again, before you go ahead and run this file, it is very important that you have the device plugged into power. After following through with all of the steps in the video thus far, we are going to want to right click on the AB03P Windows Batch file. And I am just going to right click on the name itself. And I'm going to select Run as Administrator. I am going to be prompted by a Windows Defender alert for protecting the PC. In this case, because I understand the file that I am working with and where it is from, I trust the file. I'm going to left click or select more info and I can see the information here. I'm going to left click or select run anyway. I'm then prompted with a UAC notification, a user account control telling me that Windows Command Processor is going to run. I'm going to select yes in this case because I understand the batch file and what it is that I'm going to run. And the batch file is going to run as you see here on my screen. Now what is happening right now is the BIOS is being updated. There is no operation that is required during this period. The device is going to automatically shut down after the flashing is completed. I did hear some static sound coming from my speakers during this process, so do note that. Okay, the device is now shutting down. Okay, now that the device is shut down, we are going to wait 10 minutes before attempting to start it up. I have set a timer on my phone and I have just set it to 12 minutes to be extra careful, but it is recommended to set it for 10 minutes or wait 10 minutes rather. All right, so it has been 12 minutes and what I'm going to do is initiate a startup. I am going to remove the USB dongle that I have used for my mouse control. I am going to keep the device plugged in. 
Now this startup is expected to be slow. So let's go ahead and start up the device. And we are just going to let the device sit as is. At this time, I do hear my fans and I do see the illumination below the joysticks as well on my device. Okay, we are seeing a startup right now. All right, so that boot did not take a long time as was detailed to expect. All right, I have been prompted with an update in AS Space 2 beta for 2.0.0.96. I did initiate the update process. I was prompted for this update upon AS Space 2 beta starting up after logging in to my machine. And I'm going to continue with the installation. I'm going to initiate the updated AS Space 2 beta. I am not fully certain if the prompted update for AS Space 2 happens after the BIOS update file that we went through. However, I am including it in this video in the case that it is. All right, so let's look at where we can adjust our VRAM. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select on screen the hamburger button, and then I am going to go to settings and you are going to see a VRAM option. I'm just going to use my direction pad here and then select A. And now we have a setting where we can adjust our VRAM. And we have many options here. We have three gigabytes all the way to 14 gigabytes. So let's say we want to select eight. And then we are given a save configuration and restart handheld and a countdown. All right, and we are prompted to save configuration and restart the handheld. I am going to select A. And the device is going to restart. All right, so I just went ahead and logged back in and I have a space to beta up and running on my device. I'm going to select the hamburger button again, go back into, go back into settings here. And then going to go down to VRAM. And as you can see, eight gigabyte is selected for us to use. And we actually can go ahead and confirm this in task manager. So I have open task manager. I am in the performance area and I select a GPU where I can see information about the GPU. And for the dedicated GPU memory, I do see that eight gigabyte is the available amount that is allocated. And that is what we set within a space two beta. All right. And that is going to be our video on updating the device with that batch file so that we can allocate a different amount of memory to the VRAM as you have seen throughout the video. Let me know in the comments, how is this installation going for you? Are you using a different amount of VRAM than the six gigabyte that was allocated before? Are you using less perhaps? I look forward to reading what you have to say in the comments. So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.